guys my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel if you like my videos please press the like button and please do subscribe hi guys um, it's Monday morning um, 8 o'clock in the morning Monday morning uh, rain is expected at 9 o'clock today so it's 8 o'clock this morning and 9 o'clock it's we're expected to have rain here okay um as for the date let let me see what the date is today so it's monday october the 10th today so it's the 10th of october monday um starting to feel slightly better i think i know what the problem is it's a matter of obviously at some point going to the doctors and possibly back to the dentist what has happened is that I'm suffering from horrendous heartburn with a load of menopause symptoms comes heartburn and that is horrible I had heartburn before but since I'm approaching the menopause heartburn has got really really bad I eat anything and it comes straight back up and a burning pain in my chest and stomach and back. Also, to, to stop this, I've been taking a Omeprazole. Looking at the long list of side effects for this drug, one is mental health issues. It can make you feel bloody damn awful in the mind. And it can also cause mouth ulcers. Now, when I looked in my cheek yesterday, my right cheek, I've got about three or four like little blisters in the side of my cheek and down here at the bottom of my jaw, which is, is absolutely excruciating. Anyone that's had mouth ulcers or, or, or whatever in your mouth, it's, it makes it horrible to talk. Um, whenever you open your mouth, it hurts. And when you try to eat something, it's excruciating. So what I thought I'd do yesterday was nip into the co-op um, to get some Bongella because that's the first thing doctors and dentists say to me, have, have you put Bongella on it? Bongella. Bongella used to be £4 in Sainsbury's. £4. So I struggled into the co-op yesterday, feeling pretty bloody awful. And I picked up some Bongella, which is now £6.20. £6.20 for this. But, but, there's a good side to it, it's killing the pain a bit, a bit. I also got some paracetamol in there. To help with the pain so that 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 cost me almost 10 pounds with painkillers bongella that just that um i also got a tuna sandwich for sun on sunday which i like to read the newspaper i won't stop buying the sun i do like the sun um, so I buy the Sun. I've been buying the Sun newspaper and I won't stop. I did try for a while to read the Times, but it's very expensive, the Times newspaper. Even a daily Times newspaper is over £2. The newspapers have gone up. Everything's it, it's terrible. So, you know, Bongella is something people need. It's a medical thing and it's £6.20. Bought it. Walking around the store in my shorts yesterday, you wouldn't believe the change in weather. Yesterday morning it was sunny. Sunny. And I went into the co-op in my shorts. And Kim shouted out, sexy legs. To me, Crystal. Sexy legs. As I was walking around the co-op, I felt embarrassed. Everyone like turned round and... I, I said thank you and I carried on with my shopping and I was obviously a bit embarrassed, embarrassed. I don't like you know it's oh, don't <laughs> thanks 
for the compliment, but loud in the middle of a store. Um, so I got my basket, carried on with what I needed to get um, bits and pieces, some ham for my baked potato today. And I had to rush back because I was due to see my mum, to go and see my mother. But I was feeling very, very unwell. Um, the pain in my mouth from these sores, from the medication I'm using, and I just felt genuinely not right. Came back into the flat, my mum said, bring your washing up because my washing machine is still broken. So I put washing machine, washing into the co-op bag. I took a co-op bag full of washing. I came back home, got my washing ready, got a bag ready to take up there. Oh, and I want to show you these Pringles, sour cream and chilli multigrain. I also got a packet of those, Pringles. And they look really nice, sour cream and chilli. When you've got mouth sores, it's absolutely excruciating to eat, but it's on this side. So I'm intending to turn, uh, eat on this side, if I can, and in the middle. Um, so... Chewing is triggering it off, eating, you know, hot hurts it, spicy food hurts it. Trying to keep, you know, calm, cool and collected because when you're in, your, in pain, you can get grumpy, irritable and lose your temper. But I keep saying to myself, you know, calm down, it will go away eventually. When the dentist and doctor find out what it is, it will go away. Because it's a case of going back to the doctor and the dentist to, to they find out what's causing it and, and stops it. And if it is a bad tooth, which it possibly could be, then, it, you know, I can't afford, like anybody else, an £800 root canal. I was quoted £800 for a root canal. I can't afford, afford it. In the newspaper the other day, a woman had resorted to pulling out her own teeth because she couldn't get a private dentist. I can't afford private dentist charges, so this tooth is probably going to get worse and worse and worse and worse because it needs a root canal. Nothing I can do about it. You know, there's no NHS dentist that will take me on. My NHS dentist went private. I can't afford private charges. £800 for a root canal. That's almost as high as my gas bill. That's terrible. Anyway, so I started getting ready to go up and see my mum. And I'm feeling rotten. I'm feeling in pain. When you feel in pain, you feel rotten. That's it. Can't help it. Um, and with this, I've got a stinging in my ear. So it may be some kind of infection. So my ear was hurting. My ear my right ear. So mum said that she'd call a taxi for 11.30, the usual time. So I was looking out of my windows for this taxi and it was about 15 minutes, nothing there, nothing there. Then this red and white taxi comes down Corey's Road, where I live, comes down Corey's Road. And it turns round, so I go downstairs thinking it's my taxi. Go out steps downstairs, I'm not well, got mats under my arm. This red taxi turns round, a nice looking driver, looks at me and then drives off. Rings my mum, she tells me that's not my taxi. I've come back up the stairs, it's freezing cold, Max is shivering. I come back up the stairs and eventually this white taxi turns up. I would imagine it was star taxis. It goes down Corey's Road and round the back round the back of the building and beeps his horn. Now, I don't know if that's my taxi or not. They usually come out the front. But I went downstairs again, looked for the taxi, couldn't see it. And then I went round, the, looked round the corner and there's a white taxi with a nice Asian man in it, nice guy, turns round and it's got an UGG number plate. So it's a white taxi with an UGG number plate, UG for UGG half the word ugly get in the taxi
taxi. I went, oh, it's you. It's the, oh, doggy, doggy, doggy. It's the doggy. It's the lady with the doggy. So I get in the white car. He's a nice bloke. He's a chatty bloke. He's about 60 years old. He's a nice Indian man. He's single and he's talking to me. How's your dog? Do you, can you tell what your dog is, um, what mood your dog is in, what your dog wants? We were having a chat about that. Drove me up to my mum's and then he went to my mum. My mum came out of the door and the driver went, your grandson. He said, uh, your grandson. She went, that's not my grandson, that's Janestra. My mum did. She went, that's not my grandson, that's Janestra, my daughter. That upset my mum because she thought he was calling me her grandson. In fact, he was referring to Max, the dog, as her grandson. He said, no, the dog, the dog is your grandson. So upset my mum, started my mum to feel, you know, Who's calling Max, my mother's grandson? So I went in, sat down. My mum had sweets and all on the table. I really couldn't chew and eat, but very nice. Thank you. 12 pack of cheese and onion crisps. Here. She said it's hard to find uh, 12 packs of crisps nowadays, which is true. So she got me those and um, I'm going to go on to what happened around my mum's in more detail because it was quite disturbing, quite upsetting for me uh, and my mum. Um, we are both women of a certain age. My mum is extremely older than me. She's nearly 80. I'm 54 and being treated as we were being treated was, in my opinion, not very nice. But there you are, what you, can you do? I'm not going to lose my temper. We were both getting anxious and upset. And my mum, even more so than me, I was keep trying to keep my cool at the situation. The situation was trying to get a taxi back home last night on a Sunday. And for me, it was absolutely ridiculous. Max is not an enormous dog. He's not a, 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 what I would call a vicious dog and he doesn't go to the toilet or, or, or wet himself in a taxi. He never has done. I make sure that he goes to the toilet before he gets into a taxi. He's very quiet. He curls up on my lap and he's absolutely... You know, you know, Max is small, isn't he? He fits on my lap. Uh, this is the problem I get from for get, getting a taxi home with my little dog is 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 terrible um and i'm thinking well i got a taxi up there with max and now i'm having a problem getting home i can't stay overnight with my mum because she's got no room or bed for me to sleep in and um, the neighbors wouldn't help either so i hope did get home last night but um I did get home eventually I thought I was going to have to walk home with the dog in the pitch black through the Luton Road where there's been murders and a lot of weed smoking and people have been beaten up down there that's what I thought I was going to have to do walk home in the dark but I waited it out and it was worth waiting it out because I got a bigger and better taxi home later than normal but it was more comfortable and it was more quiet and the taxi fare wasn't as dear right so i'll do a second part to this in a moment see you later